Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. You guys are watching Maria's Tarot Botanica. We are here today to do the 2022 predictions for all the astrological signs. So I'm going to be going in order from Aries to Pisces, talking about what you guys could possibly expect. So again, these are going to be psychic predictions. I'm going to be using several tarot decks to give you guys a summary of what you guys could possibly expect for this upcoming year. I am going to be breaking down the prediction. First, it's going to be January through April, then May through August, and September through December. Okay, so we're going to cover anything and everything that comes up from money to finance to relationships, so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys like these videos. If you guys do, please make sure you guys subscribe and you guys follow my channel. Make sure you guys comment, give it a thumbs up and thank you guys again for watching so let's go ahead and go to your site Aquarius welcome back to my channel so we are going to go ahead and do your 2022 predictions as I mentioned we're first going to cover the month of January through April but first and foremost I did pull some astrological cards so the first card that you guys did get here with is Virgo and then you also do have a second house you have earth element stability and part of fortune increase so these represent the general energies for your guys's 2022 i am sensing that for your 2022 your income is likely to increase here or also your material wealth the things that you guys own maybe you guys are purchasing more things that are tangible to you guys and you guys are also perhaps very preoccupied with material things or the tangible things your income budgeting etc i do feel like it is possibly going to be a good financial year for you guys perhaps you guys are doing things like fixing your credit budgeting yourselves investing you know put opening a new savings account opening investment accounts buying stocks etc for 2022 if you guys are single, I do feel like it's a year where early on you guys might potentially stop being single or also early on into the year, if you guys are into the dating scene, you guys might find yourselves feeling emotionally content being by yourselves, but I do feel like you guys are going to be presented with options, but I also feel like none of these options are possibly for the most part gonna be people that you guys actually see yourselves with okay you guys might actually end up turning these people down i do think though eventually you are likely to find someone in 2022 since you do have the ace of cups and then you have a two of cups you also do have a lover's card here and then also change so i feel like whomever you meet is going to change your life quite a bit maybe you guys start spending a lot of time together or they really implement themselves into your daily life or staying over at each other's places if you guys are currently in a relationship it is likely your relationship is going to be thriving at the beginning of the year you guys might get closer to one another this person could also very much be someone that you guys meet while traveling or they could be traveling themselves when they meet you or they could be from possible distant lands is what I'm seeing, okay? For some reason, I am getting that perhaps there is someone from your guys' past that you guys are still kind of confused about, maybe getting over, and then this new person shows up in your guys' life and you guys have some form of internal conflict that you guys might potentially feel. There's possibly some form of emotion still stuck there or possible apology coming to you guys that you guys might eventually reject and i do feel like if someone finds out that you guys are in a new relationship your past person is likely to sense to feel a sense of regret or loss here right or you guys could also be mourning a past relationship all right aquarius so that essentially is the first portion of your guys's readings now we're gonna go ahead and get into months may through august so let's go ahead and get started Okay, Aquarius, so from the months of May through August, there could be instances where either if you guys have children, especially the little boy, you guys might feel a little bit frustrated either because he either starts acting up or acts kind of immature. If you guys have been dating a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you guys could kind of see their negative traits or you guys could kind of see them as immature, selfish, etc. They could be acting up with you guys. This could either be 
due to like maybe jealousy issues here or they could also possibly be talking to other people or the, they might kind of feel like you're talking to other people or something like that but i do see that as a cause of stress a little bit through these months okay there is like a passion pro project that you guys are going to be quite passionate about you have a sun card here and then also the ace of wands okay i'm kind of also getting like if you guys been trying to get pregnant you guys also might potentially have some form of good luck here because i'm looking at the children and then also the ace of wands you guys know that's actually physical activity can reference to sex or the male genitalia if you guys know what i mean could also be like a lot of passion between you and someone else here okay but it kind of looks like maybe it's just for fun etc or if you guys did start dating someone else earlier in the year you guys might actually end up kicking them to the curve either because they're immature or they come off as a player I feel like Aquarius for you guys, you guys have no trouble in kicking people to the curb when they either act silly with you. You have Aquarius card here, star card, and then also the devil card in reverse. So it does indicate here that you guys are releasing toxicity, okay? I was getting earlier in the reading that perhaps there either has been someone recently who has passed away for you guys if that's the case i feel like they're coming through in the reading but whenever i get these two cards specifically it indicates someone that recently passed away like within the last few months or weeks okay or there could also be an indication here that perhaps um you guys have a spirit around you guys or can indicate that maybe a family member could potentially end up passing away okay some of you guys could be moving long distance or you guys could be purchasing a house in a different city or state you do have house here you guys could also potentially be traveling is what i'm seeing some of you guys are like in the military you guys could be taking some form of travel or trip somewhere you have change and then also marriage okay so you guys could also possibly maybe you guys got married and you guys are looking to purchasing a home or car or vehicle etc or you guys could be deciding to get hitched around this time okay lastly let's go ahead and get into the last portion of your guys's reading and then also cover any last messages that you guys need to look out for in 2022 okay aquarius so in your reading from the months of september to december let's say you guys do get into a relationship in 2022 be cautious with how much you guys are posting publicly because you guys might garner like you know evil eye people being jealous of you guys i would kind of keep things on the low in terms of relationships also be cautious because i feel like there is some form of trouble that could be avoided here with a tower card here in reverse and this could very much well have to do with people around you or people you entrust with money here you have the thief card here the seven of swords which represents some form of deception can relate to something financial so maybe you guys be careful with who you guys lend out money to okay in 2022 lastly i do feel like maybe there could potentially be like a little bit of struggle in terms of maybe friendships or something like that or you either make an amends with someone whom you might consider a friend possibly or with an old lover but i feel like it's not necessarily reconciliation energy if it was an old lover it's more so like maybe you guys are making peace is what i'm seeing could potentially be a leo because i'm looking at the lion emblem here could also possibly be a taurus because you guys also got two taurus cards here again i feel like if you guys did get into a relationship you guys might as well just get out of a relationship at the end of 2022 or some of you guys could potentially be coming out of a relationship in 2022 towards the end of the year okay now let's see if there's any last minute messages that you guys need to be aware of for your 2022 okay aquarius i am getting one of the messages is that you guys should be aware of your mother's health okay possibly there could be some form of health complications for someone around you and this could potentially really cause some form of stress in people's lives okay you have indications here of um possible conflict although for the most part i feel like you guys are going to know what battles to pick with people also be conscious of your sleep cycles are you guys getting enough sleep in 2022 okay 
Again, Taurus is coming up in your guys' reading. Again, you guys could potentially be dealing with a Taurus in 2022. Or actually, you guys could also potentially be coming into good financial stability in 2022. Where you guys are probably going to be the most stable you guys have ever been in terms of finances and resources, right? You guys might actually also, I'm kind of also getting like you guys might reach a high position in your job or you guys might excel this year in your career. All right, Aquarius, so that's essentially what you guys have for 2022. I hope you guys like this reading. If you guys did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.